Hello YouTube, this is JC Loadouts giving you guys an update on my Robinhood app portfolio. I currently invested seven thousand dollars and two hundred seventy-seven. Um, my current buying power is three hundred fifty-two dollars and zero eight cents. Now I got a couple of growth stocks here. I got the TNXP I'm currently sitting at a dollar and eighteen cents. I got sixteen dollars sixteen point three seven shares. I'm currently down seven dollars and six eight cents. Uh, next one is AQST, Acquisitive Therapeutics. Currently sitting at $3.71. I got a total of 6.84 shares. I got minus return of $2.70. We got ZOM Zomedica currently sitting at 84 cents. I have 52.223956 shares. Total return is four dollars and well minus four dollars and twelve cents. Uh, next one is CTRM Caster Mart Time, currently sitting at three dollars and oh eight, and this is the time is of this recording is at midnight. <laughs> no, a little late. Um, currently sitting at five shares. Total return minus seven dollars seventeen cents. Not doing good on my growth stocks nak another growth stock northern dynasty minerals sitting at 0 0.56 cents i have 50 shares currently down minus 0 0.8600 all right next one b i o l bio lace um, they're currently sitting at 0 0.7195 cents. I got 50 shares of this stock. Currently down minus 0 0.2750. And uh, yeah. There it is. Um, next one is GSAT. Global stars, Global Star, uh, they're sitting at a dollar fifty eight cents. <clears throat> Currently have a hundred twelve point six five nine shares, and my total return is at forty three dollars and zero two cents. They are doing good. Um, I have a dollar. Uh, recurring investment currently set up on this stock because I, I still believe in them but you know I don't make that much money so <laughs> a dollar a day because I believe in them maybe they will become the next 5g 6g telecommunication type deal I don't know but you know with uh the news they're saying that they're trying to uh acquire some company with veterinary uh services i believe but yeah more information follows for that i'm not entirely sure what's going on around them yet but we will find out more <clears throat> Next one is AAL American Airlines. They're currently sitting at $24.28. Uh, I have 
1.49 shares. My total return is $8.28. I don't have a recurring investment set up on this. Um, I got it basically on hold. Um, dividend yield is 63%, I believe, 63%. And um, I'm not sure if they're actually paying dividends, but we will find out. But, you know, they're, I'm still plus, you know, $8.28. I'm happy with that. Um, next one is AMC. AMC Entertainment. Uh, they're currently sitting at $25.64. Uh, they have a, I have a total shares of 1.357058, uh, shares and total, my total return is at $26.02. Now be mindful that I'm not a financial advisor that and I'm not a this is not a financial advice and this is for my entertainment purposes only. Okay? And um yep, AMC Entertainment. It says right here that they have a dividend yield of 1.42, but we shall see. We'll find out some more information about that. Um, next one is GE. GE is sitting at $14.06. Uh, I have a total of 8.133 shares. Currently, my total return is at $3.71. I don't have a recurring investment set up on that yet, just because their dividend yield is super low. So, but yeah. It's okay. I mean, you know, I'm just right now, I'm just kind of focusing on the one that would give me higher dividend yield. It's not like I don't believe in the company overall, but you know, that's where I stand with that. <clears throat> Next one is, <coughs> excuse me, ticker symbol T, A T N T. $29.47. My um, current share at the moment is 12.02. I'm currently down $15.32. Um, my dividend yield is at 7.07. .07. And um, I heard about the whole uh, deal with AT&T. Um, but I still believe in them, you know, I'm using AT&T as my, um, cellular provider at the moment. So yes, you know, I still believe in them and maybe that, you know, um, trying to pay off their debt, you know, might be a, a, a good step to a new direction without the media, you know, but we'll see, you know. I'm not a financial advisor, not a financial advice, like I said, but uh, that's what I think, you know, you know, they held down for a while before they got the media, but we'll see future, you know, let's hope, let's hope for the best, you know what I mean? But yeah, so still believe in them. Next one is KO Coca-Cola. You know, they're sitting at $55.36. Um, total shares, 5.297118. Um, total return, $4.84. They have a current dividend yield of 2.98. Yep. Coca-Cola, hey. You know, the king. <coughs> the king, yo, the king. Um, VZ Verizon, fifty six dollars fifty two cents. Um, current share six point four one one zero nine five seven. Sorry about that. 
Uh, my total return is at $7.69, and that's on a negative side, okay? <laughs> negative side, that's minus $7.69, but that's okay. Uh, dividend yield is a sitting sitting at 4.42. <clears throat> yep. Hey, everybody's using, you know, a lot of people are using Verizon, okay? I'm not hating. I believe in them too. Um, FNF, ticker symbol FNF, Fidelity National Financial. Um, currently sitting at $46.99. Um, total shares is four point five zero seven six eight two um my total return is at four dollars seventy three cents currently don't have any recurring investment my dividend yield uh is at two point nine four on fnf fidelity national financial they are doing good you know they are climbing up there you know what i mean so let's believe in them so, <clears throat> next one is VOO, Vanguard S&P 500 ETF. A. Should I even explain, you know, ETF, yo. Um, 2.0269 shares. My total return is at $7.58. Uh, dividend yield, 1.37. Next one, VTI, Vanguard Total Stock Market ETF. Currently sitting at $218. Um, total shares, 2.002005 shares. Total return, $9.33. Um, their dividend yield, $1.28. <clears throat> Next one, VYM, Vanguard High dividend yield etf currently sitting at 106 dollars 81 cents uh, to have a total of two shares my total return right now is at five dollars 23 cents uh, my dividend yield is 2.81 on bym oh excuse me all right yep ETF and next one PG Procter and Gamble currently sitting at $134.92 um I currently have uh, two shares my total return is $1.86 um dividend yield 2.40 Procter and Gamble a uh next one j and j john and son and johnson um currently sitting at 169 dollars 25 cents um <coughs> uh total shares is 2.231692 um total return is at 12 dollars 50 cents my dividend yield sits at 2.39 J and J, um, just got paid from them, but yeah, I will go back to that. Um, next one, oh, realty income sitting at sixty eight dollars fifty eight cents. Total shares eleven point one eight one two eight one. Total return is at nine point eight two. I have a recurring investment. At ten dollars daily, my dividend yield sits at four point one zero with O. Next one is SPHD Power Shares S and P five hundred High Dividend Low Volatility ETF. Um, forty sits at forty five dollars and O nine cents. I have a total shares of 6.701284 shares with total return 
of 2.33. I have uh, $10 daily set up on recurring investment on this stock. They have a dividend yield of 4.29. Yep. S&P ATF. Yeah, SPHD. Next one. Stag Industrial. SDAG. Sits at $36.10. Um, total shares is at 8.1633. Four seven total return is four point six seven. Um, currently have a daily recurring investment of ten dollars on this stock. I have a dividend yield of four point zero four. Uh, with Stag Industrial. Yep, they're doing good. Also, as you can see. Yep. Uh, next one is Main Street Capital, ticker symbol M-A-I-N, currently sits at $41.18, um, total shares 6.12738, total return of $1.33, uh, currently have $10 uh, daily set up recurring investment on this stock. And they have a dividend yield of 5.98. Yep. Let's see. Yep. They're still doing good. Not too bad. But, yep. Next one is AGNC. AGNC Investment. Um, $18.50. They're currently sitting... Um, I have a total of 12.334215 shares. I have a total return of $5.19. I have a $5 recurring investment daily on this um, stock as well. They have triple seven. Look at that. Dividend yield of 7.77. AGNC. All right. Next one. Um, Gladstone Investment, ticker symbol G-A-I-N, currently sits at $14.20. Um, I have a total shares of 21.807846 shares. And I have a total return of 2.21. Um, I also have, uh... Daily recurring investment on gain as well for five dollars daily. So five point nine seven on their dividend yield. And yeah, yep. Let's see. Yep, they're also doing good on their one year. You know, it's always good to look at the the graph from like you know, from extended period of time, like mainly I like one year to see how like where they were sitting at until how they, you know, start picking back the pace and you go. But yeah. Yep, yeah, I think that's it, guys. So next is, uh, what am I going to show you now? Oh, yeah. So, let's go back. So, I got my stocks to where it's set up on a folder so I can kind of organize it. You know, I got the monthly dividend stock, as you can see right here. And then I have quarterly, all my quarterly paying dividends stocks right here including the etfs on you know sphd is an etf right there um sorry you got quarterly the vym vti voo 
Those are ETF. Oh, sorry. Yep. That one's yep, my quarterly. Now, I also have one crypto. Uh, well, two. I think I just put a dollar on <laughs> Ethereum just to see, you know. Just so I can say I owned it. But here you go, Dogecoin. Um currently sitting at 33 cents i bought this when it was like 15 cents but i only bought like 30 dollars off of it you know and then when it climbed up to 20 i think i got uh see i'm just putting five dollars five dollars and then when it got up to 33 and i was like i thought it was gonna climb up you know let me put 100. I got full mode. And then it dropped down, you know. I'm like, oh my god. No. But yeah. Start my life. But <laughs> that's Dogecoin. It currently sits at 2,818.67 shares, I believe. Uh, my total return is $506 right now. But yeah. I mean, I'm here for uh, the whole maybe 5 10 15 years i'll put five dollars every week you know and see what happens you know a cup of coffee you know it could be life-changing or it could be detrimental <laughs> but it's something that you know you don't mind losing for me five dollars it's okay i don't normally you know spend my money on um a lot of crazy things but yeah so i put five dollars on there and hopefully it goes up to 100 as what they say on youtube but that's youtube <laughs> you know what i mean but um like this <laughs> youtube don't listen to the guy that's you know telling you to invest this you know do this and that no you know do your own research first you know do your own research on what you're about to put your money on because, you know, you could lose that money. You know, you could lose that money and I don't want anybody to lose any money, you know what I mean? So do your own di due diligence, you know, check out what's going on with the stock. You know, I did my research on all of this, you know. I had, you know... I just sat down, you know, a couple hours, each one, and then see if there's any news about them, you know, the, this first five stocks right here, uh, three, four, five, six stocks, here you go, the, that's my, uh, uh, growth stocks. You know, I'll hold them for five, ten years. I'll leave it alone as what it is now, what shares I have now. But unless they have like some new, um, uh, what is this, new product or new development in their company, then maybe I'll put more money on there. Maybe they will, you know, go up, you know, grow up as a company one day. So, yeah. You know, I'll just put them in there for a little bit. And then if I see them getting traction or whatever, put money on there. See if they will grow up or, you know, blow up or whatnot. And then I have this GSAT, you know. Oh, man, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe they're, they're the next 6G with all the satellites that they got going on. You know, I like their products. You know, they run... Um, offline uh, what is this satellite offline grid you know off the grid uh cellular uh track phones gps trackers and stuff like that you know it saves people every single day you know what i mean like every day this company saves people every day because of their equipment so yes i'm putting a dollar on their company every day you know daily maybe you know we'll see we'll see how the future goes on this company but you know i i still believe in them so i'm putting a dollar you know invested in their company you know 
and see how how they turn out so cross fingers <coughs> <coughs> excuse me so what else do i have that i haven't shown you guys um but yeah so i got them set up i don't know if i already showed you but i got them organized so you know i can get track of them i know what i'm looking at you know who's paying me monthly who's paying me quarterly you know paying is like kind of like a weird term but that pay goes back to the stock okay now actually let me show you guys as far as you know uh dividend investing goes you know let's go right here look at that guys i am getting paid by this company look at that check that out yo that's beautiful right and then that, that goes back you know that goes back to the stock and then it just grows and grows and grows and then you know one day it will just pay itself to build its own you know one stock every every you know every week or every day or you know one day it will just keep gr growing and growing and growing you know and time will tell you know and then yeah we'll see but yeah so i'm very nervous you know i'll just kind of disclose this um i'm very kind of sleepy now <laughs> but uh i just want to say thank you for sticking with me i know it was a very long um video this is my first time i apologize if i've taken so much of you guys time but if you guys like it um you know give me a thumbs up you know uh, put a comment down below uh tell me um what can i improve on you know maybe open topics uh yeah you know open for any um any advice criticism or whatnot you know thank you very much again and uh see you again in the next next week possibly all right i just make this as a, a weekly uh update you know fifty dollars you know daily all right all right i'll see you guys thank you very much again peace